Some people just set a certain number of goals for themselves. I'm going to take you through what I did. <clears throat> and what I did is a set of 10 questions that I ask myself every day for the year. It's not a resolution per se. It's did I do it, did I not? The 10 questions I will share with you, it's not really important. The way I scored is not really important until we get to the end. And that's where I think the secret sauce lies and what I'm going to encourage all of you to do. So I ask myself 10 questions at the start or end of every day. 10 things that I feel like I need to do, they're quick yes or no questions, to be successful. I divide them into areas. <coughs> Number one, physically. At the end of the day, did I get 30 minutes of exercise? I don't have to track it. I have the Apple Watch to do that for me. Either the number is 30 or it's, well, currently 30 away from 30. <laughs> Either the number is 30 or it's not. One means it was 30 or more. Zero. It's not. Physically, question number two. Did I record everything I ate? If I recorded everything I ate, I'm going to be sticking to my diet and I'm going to be hitting the exercise. I have an app to do it. All the foods that I normally eat are right there. It's a very simple process. Did I do it? Yes or no? Those are the two physical questions. <clears throat> Mentally, number one, did I read something today? Yes or no? You can read in your car. Not, not while driving, no. But you can put on an MP3 for a book. That counts. Did I read something? Did I do something to move myself forward mentally? Number two, and this one is the one that I need to work on. Did I meditate? And I just take some time to quiet my mind. I do it first thing in the morning because if the day gets started and all of those things hit the fan, I'm not going to meditate. <laughs> Meditation. That's the second the mental question. Number three, or the third area, emotional. Number one, did I express gratitude? If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm kind of an Apple fanboy, and yeah, there's an app to track your gratitude. It pops a question right up there. Either I did or I didn't. I think one of the keys to being happy in life, one of the keys to being successful in life, is being grateful. I do it first thing in the morning. Emotional, number two, did I have family time? Okay, that's fairly easy. We're all in the same house. And it's easy until it's not, because I frequently travel. So if I'm in Memphis and I want to get the perfect score, I have to, I don't have to, I get to connect on my iPad, Apple fanboy, using FaceTime. Did I have family time? Fourth area is spiritual. Now this is different for all of us, and maybe it's not important, but if it is, a couple of things I like to do. Number one. Did I pray? Did I reach out to some sort of higher authority? Do you want to do that? I recommend. That's an easy question. Something you take care of first thing in the day. Number two, did I read something spiritual? In my case, it's the Bible. In your case, it could be another book. But I feel it's important to realize that there's something higher than you, something more important. So reach out. If that's not important to you, you don't have to put it on your scorecard. Number five. Ah, number five. Work. <laughs> work can be defined as any number of things. I like to divide work up into two areas. Number one, the things I want to do to make for a better future. Okay, that could be investments, that could be speaking, that could be any number of things. And number two, the things I have to do if I don't want to get fired or die. 
That could be taxes, that could be some meetings, things like that. Question number one is, did I do something for the future? Did I do something to make for a better future, work-related or otherwise? Number two, did I do the stuff I have to? <clears throat> My task list has a tag on them, anything that is required. I take an hour out of the calendar every day just to get rid of the required stuff, at least an hour. There may be meetings and stuff. I, you never know. Did I do those two things? That gives me a nice round number of 10. And a perfect day would be 10, unless it's not. Because after I get all of that done, there's one last test. We're either going to multiply whatever the number was by one or by zero. And Excel does this real nicely for me because there's one column I have to fill out at the end of every day. If there's something in the column, it's going to multiply that score by one. And if there's nothing in the column, the score is zero. And the column is this. What did I do today that kicked butt? Thank you for that. <laughs> Close enough, right? What one thing, just one little thing did I do that really kicked butt? Yesterday it was simple. I made a playlist, a new playlist when I ran, and I put some of the best rock and roll I could think of. That kicked butt. That was easy. Day before, it was a family tradition. I believe that every day, you have two opportunities. You have the opportunity to get your butt kicked, and that may or may not happen, and that's kind of out of your control. But you also have the opportunity to do something that kicks butt. It can be small or it can be huge. And as you do your traditional, that wasn't the word, as you do your customary <laughs> New Year's resolution, I'd like you to think about one thing. What can I do? Absolutely.